So previously we've derived the summation formulas for a geometric sequence. So in this video we're going to use those formulae to solve this problem. Find the common ratio R and the first term A of a geometric sequence whose sum of the first eight terms is 19,680 and the sum to infinity is 19,683. So the first thing to note here is a sum to infinity, well there is a sum to infinity, and therefore the absolute value of the common ratio R must be less than 1. The formula for the sum to infinity is S equals the first term A divided by 1 minus R, and we are given that this is equal to 19,683. Now the formula for the first n terms, s sub n, is given by a by 1 minus r to the power of n all over 1 minus r. And in this case we are given that s sub 8, the sum of the first 8 terms, is equal to a, which we need to find out, minus 1, sorry, outside of 1 minus r to the power of 8 all over 1 minus r. And that's equal to nine, sorry, 19,680. Okay, so we have a case here of two unknowns, A and R, and we have two equations. What I'm going to do now is to write the sum of the eight terms, the sum of the first eight terms, S sub 8. Let's change the format of the equation a little bit. I'm going to write this as A on 1 minus R by 1 minus r to the power of 8. Okay, so this and this are still equal to each other. It's just a little bit rearranged. I'm going to put a set of brackets here because this a on 1 minus r, we already know the answer to that. It is equal to 19,683. I'm going to leave the 1 minus r to the power of 8 as it is. And we know that this is equal to 1,000, sorry, 19,680. So from this, let's move this number downstairs, and we have 1 minus r to the power of 8 will be equal to 19680 divided by 19683. And if we make r the subject, we'll have well, r to the power of 8 to the subject, we'll have r to the power of 8 is equal to 1 minus 19680 divided by 19683. Okay, so here's where we can do some factoring or simplification of the fraction here. So the top number I can write as 3 by 6560. The bottom number I can write as 3 by... 6,561. The 3's cancel each other. Let's make a common denominator between the 1 and the fraction. So we have 6,561 on 6,561, which equals 1, minus 6,560 on 6,561. So when we subtract these two fractions, we get 1 on 6561. Alright, now this 6561 can be written as 81 squared. So this fraction is equal to 1 on 81 squared. This 81 can be written as 9 squared. So we have 1 on 9 squared, all squared, which we can rewrite as 9 to the fourth power and now 9 can be written as 3 squared. So we have 1 on 3 squared to the power of 4. And therefore we have 1 on 3 to the power of 8. Which also equals 1 on 3 all to the power of 8. So we have the expression r to the power of 8 equals 1 third to the power of 8. Which implies then when we take the 8th root of r. And because we have an even power here, we must remember there are two possible there are two possible answers. There's a positive answer and a negative answer. So if we take the eighth root 
of 1 third to the power of 8, we get positive or negative 1 third. So there's actually two possibilities for R. So R could either equal positive 1 third or it could equal negative 1 third. So now that we've found the common ratio R, we can use this to find the first term A. So with the sum to infinity, we had S sub infinity equals A on 1 minus R, which we know equals 19683. So if we use R equals positive 1 third, the sum to infinity equals A on 1 minus 1 third, which equals A on 2 thirds, which equals 19683, and that implies that A equals 19683 times 2 thirds, and the answer to that is 13,122. In the case that R equals negative 1 third, the sum to infinity equals A on 1 minus negative 1 third, which equals a on 4 thirds, and that also equals 19683, and that means A equals 19683 by 4 thirds, and that gives the first term as 26,244. Okay, so to summarize, we found that either the common ratio is equal to positive one third, for which the first term will be 13,122. So let's box this answer. And the other possibility is the common ratio R is equal to negative one third, for which the corresponding first term should be 26,244. So twice the value for when R is equal to one third. And this will make sense because for when r is equal to negative one third, we're going to have an alternating sequence of positive and negative numbers. Whereas with positive one third, we just have a sequence of ever diminishing positive numbers. So to get to the same final sum, we do have to start with a larger number for the alternating sequence. But that will do it for this video. If you have found it helpful, please like it and share it with your study mates. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for many other tutorials that will help you in your mathematics studies. And I'll always appreciate any small donation. There's a PayPal link in the description below. Any contribution you can make will help me make more videos for you. For now, best of luck with your studies, and I'll see you on the next video.